You might be taking omega-3, but you could be wasting your money. Why? Because what's in most bottles is not what your body actually needs. The prices are high, the packaging is bright, but how do you figure out what truly works? And what is just regular fish oil under a pretty label? Today, as a doctor, I'll help you understand scientifically and simply how to select a high-quality omega-3 supplement that delivers real benefits without the marketing fairy tales. The critical components, EPA and DHA, what should you look for in the ingredients? You often see 1,000 milligrams of fish oil printed on the label. That sounds solid, but that's not the main thing. What we truly need is EPA, eicosapentaenoic acid, and DHA, docosahexaenoic acid. These are the primary active forms of omega-3, the specific fatty acids that provide the entire health benefit, reducing inflammation, supporting the heart and blood vessels, improving brain function and memory, boosting the health of your skin, eyes, and joints. EPA and DHA are not just fish oil, they are the specific substances that actually work. Dosage and concentration. How much EPA and DHA should be present? In a good supplement, EPA and DHA should make up at least 60% of the total fat content in the capsule. This means if a capsule contains 1,000 mg of total fish oil, at least 600 mg must come from EPA and DHA. In budget supplements, you often only get 300-350 mg of EPA and DHA. The rest is just neutral fat that offers no significant benefit. Optimal Daily Dose Expert organizations, including ISSFAL, International Society for the Study of Fatty Acids and Lipids, and the European Society for Nutrition, agree. The optimal daily dose for the general population is approximately 400-500 mg of EPA and DHA, which helps reduce the risk of cardiovascular events. The form of omega-3, bioavailability matters. When you buy omega-3, it's not just about the quantity of EPA and DHA, it's about the form they are in. This directly affects how well your body absorbs them. Here are the main forms you'll find in supplements. First, natural triglycerides, TG. This is the natural form found in fish or breast milk. They are built into the fat molecule structure and are easily absorbed. Pros, high bioavailability, absorption, safe, natural form, and well-tolerated by the stomach. Second, ethyl esters, EE. This is a cheap lab-created form where fatty acids are bound to ethanol instead of glycerol. You find this in budget supplements, often labeled just 1,000 mg fish oil, without specifying the form. Cons, poor absorption, especially when taken on an empty stomach. May cause an unpleasant aftertaste. More prone to oxidation and spoils faster. Not recommended for pregnant women due to ethanol residues. Third, reesterified triglycerides, RTG, the gold standard. The fat is highly purified and concentrated, often via the EE form, then chemically converted back into the natural triglyceride structure. The result is a clean, highly concentrated, and easily absorbed fat. Pros, highest absorption rate, even better than natural TG. Allows for high concentration of EPA and DHA per capsule. Excellent stomach tolerance. Ideal for clinical use. The research conclusion. A study on 72 volunteers confirmed that re-esterified triglycerides, RTG, led in bioavailability, being absorbed percent better than the natural form. Ethyl esters showed the worst absorption, only 73% compared to the natural form. Therefore, it is best to choose supplements in the form of RTG or natural TG. They deliver the beneficial omega-3 more effectively into your cells. How to check the label. Manufacturers don't always write this clearly. Look for triglycerides or re-esterified triglycerides. The best choice. Ethyl esters, ethyl form, or nothing indicated at all. Likely ethyl esters. I do not recommend this form. The source of the oil. Quality and purity. Where the fish oil comes from is critically important, though manufacturers rarely highlight it. 1. Source from small wild fish. Choose supplements made from small wild fish, 
anchovies, sardines, mackerel. They live shorter lives and accumulate far less heavy metals, like mercury and cadmium. This is crucial for long-term use and is why small fish are considered safe, even for pregnant women and children. 2. Muscle tissue, not liver. You need supplements made from muscle tissue, not fish liver. The liver is a filtration organ. Studies show it can accumulate heavy metals and, importantly, excessive amounts of vitamin A, which can be dangerous, especially during pregnancy. Oil derived from muscle is cleaner. 3. Deep sea fish. Choose supplements made from deep sea fish. They live in cleaner, more stable conditions. Their oil is often richer in DHA and is more stable during storage. Avoid omega-6 and omega-9 complexes. You may have seen omega-369 3-in-1. This sounds attractive, but it's a marketing trap. Why avoid 6 and 9? Omega-6 is already excessive in our Western diet. Sunflower oil, fried food, processed foods. Excess omega-6 can promote inflammatory processes if not balanced by omega-3. While the ideal ratio is about 4-1, the reality for most people is 15-1 or higher. Adding more is counterproductive. Omega-9, oleic acid, is useful but not essential. Your body can produce it, and it's easily found in olive oil and nuts. There is no benefit in taking it in capsule form. Manufacturer Standards and Purity When choosing omega-3, you need assurance that the product is pure, stable, and safe. Certifications help verify this, GOED, a strict purity standard that verifies the actual EPA and DHA content. GMP, Standard for Clean Manufacturing Practices. IFOS, Independent Testing that Verifies Purity from Toxins and Confirms Dosage Accuracy. Friend of the Sea, Eco-Friendly and Sustainable Sourcing Certification. Also look for molecular distillation on the package. This is a high-precision technology that removes heavy metals and toxins by heating the fat under low pressure while preserving the beneficial fatty acids. I will detail these certifications in the next video. Storage. Fighting oxidation. Omega-3 fatty acids are polyunsaturated, making them highly unstable. They easily oxidize, go rancid, when exposed to light, heat, or oxygen. Oxidized oil loses its benefit and can even cause harm, such as inflammation or nausea. How to choose and store. Check the production date. Not just the expiration date. Fresher is better. Optimally, use it within 6 to 12 months of manufacture. Choose capsules. They are more protected than liquid oils. Avoid syrups, as they are the most vulnerable. Look for antioxidants. Check for vitamin E, tocopherol, in the ingredients. This natural antioxidant protects the oil from spoiling. This is especially important for high-dose concentrates. Store in the fridge. Always store your omega-3 in a dark place or in the refrigerator at home, especially after opening the jar. Choosing omega-3 is about knowledge, not just picking the most expensive bottle labeled premium. I hope you are now armed with the knowledge to consciously choose a supplement that truly supports your health, rather than just wasting your money. If this topic was useful, please give this video a like and let me know in the comments. Which omega-3 supplement are you currently taking? So stay with us, there is still a lot of interesting material ahead.